Ooh, another day in the neighborhood. What is going on online this week? Tell me this is a joke. <laughs> this female empowerment thing? Come on. Tell me this is a joke. Tell me this isn't serious. Oh, yikes. Well, luckily very few people saw this. Red. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> Normally this is a Reddit specific series, a totally original series where I just read your Reddit posts. This week we're gonna start with Twitter though, because a little bit has been going on on Twitter. Just a smidge of action. Let's start there. I made a movie commentary on Avengers Endgame and it almost ended my game. <laughs> people were pissed, man. Pissed. How pissed? 5,000 people disliked the commentary. It's a lot of people. I mean, yeah, sure, 22,000 people liked it, but still, that's, that's bad. I treat a lot of things comedically. I suppose I should probably address this non-comedically. I, I, I can't promise that though. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, what are the jokes? What are the jokes here? Before anything, I just want to say, taking shots at me, fair game, fair play. My channel is built around making jokes and roasting. So like, if anyone wants to take a shot, roast me, feel free. If you can't take a joke, then don't make jokes, you know? So if, if you want to take a shot at me, that's, that's what this series is built around. People on my subreddit taking shots at me. <laughs> I just realized that that's what it, that's what the series is about. Ah. On this tweet though, the top liked comment is literally five seconds later. He says the scene is bull because they didn't care to make a female movie until the end of phase three. And that scene seemed faked for him. I guess it's never been a problem for me for someone to take something out of context and blow it up because a lot of people that like this tweet aren't gonna watch the video, you know? So they're just seeing me being like, female empowerment? You gotta be joking me, you know? And they're like, oh, this guy's an asshole. But really what I'm trying to say is give it to me sooner. If you're gonna commit to it, I wanna see it. I wanna see you as a company, Marvel, commit to it. They literally didn't give Black Widow a movie until after she died. She's dead in the universe. They killed her in Avengers Endgame. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, we'll make a movie for her now. She was there since the start. Give her a phase one or two movie, bro. I think that was the reason I didn't feel like I connected to her character very much is because I didn't know much about her. Like I'm not a comic reader. So just as a casual viewer of Marvel movies, she just pops in here and there. And I don't really connect to her because I don't know anything about her really. It's the same reason I didn't connect to Hawkeye at all. You know, like he's around. I remember seeing him in Thor, the first Thor, but like I never connected to his character because it's just like little spots here and there but I just never had that emotional connection to him. Really what I think this comes down to is that people love Marvel more than they like me. So if they have to pick a corner, they're going Marvel, you know? When I roast, I roast the hell out of other movies. You know, even good movies. But people are usually like, oh, those are, those are funny jokes because they don't have an attachment to the property that I'm roasting. But when I roast Marvel, it's like, you've done messed up. That's just how I feel and it's, it's kind of nice to see that even though the video has 500,000 views of me out of context, not liking the female empowerment scene and making it look like it's because they're women, the top comments are that, you know, it's just out of context and you're just, you know, looking for someone to rally around by beating them down. Another top comment, you should watch the video before judging him. He actually goes on about how Marvel could have done a lead female movie way earlier and that he thinks it's stupid that they try to show it off now because they failed to do so years ago. It just makes no sense for the females to, to come together because they don't know each other. And in the middle of battle, all the women are just like, let's go over here and all the men are like, oh, the women are going over there? Okay, we'll fight over here for now then. I want to see more female-led movies, but I don't want it just like, to try to pander to an audience, you know? I don't want it to be like, we're not gonna give you guys your own movies, but we'll give you one scene in Avengers where you come together and fight. Is that good enough, you know? It just feels disingenuous on Marvel's behalf, and I didn't like that. It's just 100% fan service. Hey, hey, get out of here. I'm sexist, you can't be in here. Boys only. I'm racist too, yeah. This is so out of context. He said he found it useless because it didn't feel genuine. Yeah, see, these are the, yeah. I found it cheesy and forced as a woman. Yeah, that's that's the point. The point I wanted to make, 
fully support female lead in movies, especially superhero movies, because women can kick ass too. We've been watching Black Widow kick ass momentarily for years, but just give her a full movie before she dies. Come on. Why you gotta kill her and then be like, okay, now, now she's earned. Now she's earned her own movie. You watch the Black Widow movie just be like a two hour long sh one shot of just Natasha like laying there dead. And they're like, well, we gave you a Black Widow movie. You can't complain now. And to be honest with Marvel movies, I'm a casual fan specifically because I feel like all of the first movies in a series, kind of, they just follow the same formula. You just know what's gonna happen. It's all superhero movies. It's not just Marvel, it's DC too. So it's really hard for me to get into new heroes that are being introduced now. That's why I didn't watch Captain Marvel. Not because she's a woman, but because I just, it's hard for me to watch superhero movies now that aren't, you know, like team up movies or properties that I've been invested in for years. I didn't see Ant-Man, not because I'm sexist against men or ants or, you know, I'm not an animal abuser because I didn't see the movie and there's ants in it. <laughs> okay, let's drop the Marvel stuff for the rest of this video and just look at the other posts that you guys have been posting. But one last thing, one last little piece that I want to add to this Marvel conversation is this comment, this little 15 second clip that I made probably like six months to a year ago. Actually, I named the channel Dylan is in trouble partially because I'm doing comedy and sometimes comedy you push things a little too far, but that's the nature of the game. So I, I'm gonna say some jokes and I'm gonna get in trouble and that's just, I'm, I'm accepting that right now. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the memes about this. Let's look at what you guys are saying on the subreddit. Dylan disrespects the entirety of Endgame. Dylan's comment section, open the portals. Let all the hate flood in. <laughs> that's a funny one. That's getting upvoted right now. Never underestimate the power of a fandom, man. They can lay on the hate. They'll just lay it on. Luckily for me, I can take it. And a part of me likes it, you know? Cause it just, it's now it's like a thing. It's like a saga on my channel. Remember that one time Dylan got roasted by all the Marvel fans? That was a good era. Oh, hey, okay, okay, okay. Bro, just imagine meeting Dylan in a store. I can't even, also, is it me or is he looking fine? This was actually really nice because this happened on Monday when I uploaded the Avengers video. And I went out just to kind of clear my head a little bit because I was getting so much like, oh, you're sexist, you're racist. I didn't understand the racism thing. I don't know. I feel like people are reaching on the sexism thing. I know they're reaching on the racism thing because I just know. But when people are constantly hating on you online, it kind of gets in your head a little bit. So I went out just to get some fresh air, see a movie. And I actually ran into someone who watched my videos and it felt great to have like a connection with someone for someone to be like, I appreciate your videos. They make me smile. It feels really good to have like a real interaction with someone, you know, not just people shitting on you. So KK64, you actually turned my day around. So thank you. Captain America, you're just not useful here. Cap picks up Majolinir. I know how it's pronounced, but Marvel fans have pissed me off, so I'm just gonna mispronounce it. <laughs> me with the clown. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on Cap all movie. I was like, what is your usefulness? Cap. And then he just starts like taking on Thanos one on one. And I was like, okay, props. All this backlash because of a commentary is unnecessary. Oh, my love and affection you. No, I appreciate all the kind words. I'm built for it. Like I said, it, like in order to make jokes about people and things, you gotta be able to take jokes as well. So if people wanna make jokes about me, I have no qualms whatsoever. That said, it's still nice to see that people have my back. Especially at Twitter when like something blows up, people are like, ah, that's really misleading because it's out of context. But that's the nature of online, you know? If stuff isn't getting pulled out of context so that people can rally around it, is it really even online? Dylan's endgame reaction in a nutshell. The saving and restoration of four million innocent human lives. Four million? Try three and a half billion. But saving the whales? <laughs> that's where I'm at. One good thing that came out of this is that a lot of whales were brought back to life. So you know what? Reversing the snap, I'm okay with. Would have loved to see whales in the Hudson, but I'll accept what it is. The comment section where everyone is ready to fight. This subreddit where everything is jokes. On Monday when I came back and saw the comment section was an even bigger mess than when I left it, 
I came to the subreddit because I was like, I need to see, because people here are funny. And I was like, I need to see what they're saying about this. If it's going to be like angry or if it's going to be joking. And everyone was just taking things as like lighthearted and stuff. And it was actually really great. That's why I love this subreddit so much. And how many, how many people do we have here? 7.8 thousand. That's nearly double. That's nearly double what we had last time. <laughs> how it feels to open up this subreddit today when you're not a Marvel fan. <laughs> It was a mess, man. Oh god, the comment section. Should we even check out? Let me just check it out real quick. Let's just see the top comments on the uh, Avengers video. The top comment is Dylan not knowing anything about Marvel for 30 minutes and 8 seconds straight. Hey! <laughs> That's not a hate comment. What? Shock. Shock. I was expecting hate. That's nice. Cause like, I don't know anything about anything. I don't know any- I'm just dumb. Which is fun. It literally kills me to see how happy he is that Black Widow died. I just like death. Not real death, but fictional death. I was happy when Tony died. Captain America got old. Wish we could have seen him die. Just keel over on the bench. <laughs> I just keep clamoring for it. And I'm not going to get it in like Princess Protection Program. You know? So when I do one of those movies, I want to see people die so bad because I hate the movie. So when a movie actually gives it to me, I get so excited. When Dylan doesn't understand a single thing about Nat and Clint's relationship. If only there was some sort of way that I could have connected to the characters more by spending more time with them. Say two hours. Instead of watching just tiny scenes of them throughout the course of 10 years. Huh. Well, I guess there's no possible way, so. Valkyrie literally led the Asgardians for the past five years while Thor played video games and drank beer with his buddies. I think she showed she was a pretty good leader. In the video, I said that Valkyrie hadn't shown any diplomatic leadership abilities, but clearly I'm wrong because they spent an extensive amount of time in the movie showing everything that Valkyrie had done for her people, like lead them to a small village. There was at least one 30 second scene where she was moving stuff. So clearly she has leadership abilities. You don't know how the Asgardians are doing. She led the Asgardians for five years. You don't know what they're up to because the movie didn't show anything about it. Me watching Dylan's Endgame commentary. Me being a big Marvel fan, my respect for Dylan. You really held back, huh? You put that arm out, not today. It, one more thing, one more thing will attack but just we'll give him a pass this one time. Because Dylan deserves an Urban Dictionary definition too. You're welcome. Okay, let's see this. Most underrated YouTuber of all time and possibly the most sexist, apparently. Dylan is one of the funniest people on the internet, complete with a great personality and charming smile. He is known for his movie commentary, gameplay, and other videos. Subscribe to Dylan is in trouble and become a troublemaker. I was expecting like a dig, like a shot at me. Like, yeah, he makes bad jokes, but still, we watch him anyways because we feel bad for him. I was waiting for that. Didn't come, so thank you. I don't know why I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't get roasted. How I imagine Dylan's fridge. Just stocked with water bottles? No, come on guys. I reused water bottles. This water bottle, the smart water bottle, I showed it in a video like two weeks ago and I'm still using the same water bottle. I just refill it. I have this one too. It's just too small and I drink a lot of water. So like, I don't want to keep getting up to refill this one small thing. And I don't want a big water bottle because I want something that I can grab. Just a little fan art of Dylan. Oh, exciting. What is this? Did you actually draw that yourself? It's one thing if you found this image in like clip art or just Google searched it. But if you actually drew this, fuck, great joke. <laughs> That's funny. It's so mean, but it's funny. Mood rings? Nah. Colored lights? A. To be honest, if it wasn't for all the hate, I feel like that would have been a lot of comments. But everyone was just on the train of like hating Dylan, so like the comments were like all skewed. But I don't know how people feel about the colored lights. I think people liked it. I thought they used me instead of Drake. Eugene Fitzherbert? Nah. Flynn Rider? That's my guy. They're different people. I don't know if you know this, they're different people. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dylan, please react to the real life version of Aladdin. I know you hate recommendations, but please. If you know I hate it, why would you recommend it? Watch this baby. <laughs> That's how I feel when you recommend. <laughs> me with a commenter. You should react to me. It's time to pull the plug. There's nothing to be done here. Their life is over. I'm not happy they're dying because they're a kid and I have something against kids though. So 
So I don't I don't want people to take that out of context wrapping this up I want to say thank you to everyone that had my back in this uh, to everyone that was critical I still took in what you guys were saying and if there's certain things that like it maybe come off a certain way Especially with the female empowerment scene. I thought I worded it in a way that made sense But I think maybe I could have been more clear on what I was hoping for with Marvel watching endgame was more fun for me If I'm roasting it like I could just sit down and enjoy it as it is or I can make jokes about it that just accelerates my enjoyment of it, I guess. Plus, everyone's already seen Endgame already. It's just like a different way to watch it just by poking fun at it. That was my intention at least, and I think maybe people who aren't as familiar with my comedy or my style, they didn't see it that way. I want to thank everyone that continues to post on the subreddit. This is a fun series for me, and after Monday, I came to this to like just kind of see what you guys were saying about it comedically. Cause that's how I handle things. I'm gonna wrap this up though. I'm gonna have another movie commentary coming Sunday or Monday, <laughs> whenever I finish it. Who knows, maybe I'll say some controversial stuff in that video too. You won't know unless you watch it. <laughs> this is a new marketing strategy for me. My new outro is Toodles. I like to sign off my videos with that. I don't know how that started, but I'll go back to the old one cause I wanna say it. I love you guys and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Toodles! Okay, couldn't stop.